Hola mis amigas, I am back and I'm sorry for being gone for so long, not going to make any excuses. I'm just gonna be back and moving forward, you're gonna see me a lot. And for those who don't know me, hi, my name is Nancy Cruz Garcia now that I'm married. Today we are going to be doing a cooking video on enchilada. Estilo Michoacán and before I get people telling me that's not how you make them in Michoacán, we do them like this. Michoacán has a bunch of places in there. So we all make things different. So I'm gonna show you how we make them and we're from Michoacán, okay? I'm gonna be having my mom with me so she can guide me. Ya sé hacerlas, pero I like her, you know, her being there. She's my comfort, she's my queen. So I'm going to change because I'm wearing PJs. I was doing lives and all these things. At the very end, I'm gonna have my husband try the food. Y a ver qué dice. Él no come tortilla, pero va a comer tortilla hoy. I know it's weird, pero no come tortilla. Without talking too much, I'm gonna get started. Vámonos. We're going to start off by taking off la pata a los chiles guajillos. We're doing about eight of these. That's just enough for the amount of enchiladas and pambazos we're personally making today. Los vamos a poner a remojar. Meanwhile, we start doing the rest of the stuff. And then you just take out as much semillas as you can. It's not a big deal if you don't take all of them. De nuevo, remojalos. This is the first thing you do while you do the rest of your stuff. Echales agua. Para la salsa, vamos a usar chiles de árbol, jalapeños y tomates. So once we peel our tomatillos, and by the way, we call them tomates. So in case I say that, I mean tomatillos, that's just what we call them. We're going to put them in uh, aluminum foil. We're using two pieces. You don't have to uh, put them like this. We, didn't, we kind of like uh, los envolvemos into a little baggie. Y así los tostamos en el comal. But you can just put an aluminum foil piece on your comal and then toast them on top without doing this but this is just how my mom likes to do it and i just go with the flow we are going to put this on high and by the way if you're wondering where i got my hands from i got them from my mama <laughs> and now we're going back to the jalapenos we're also going to take off the pata i'm going to go in from spanish and english i'm sorry i'm bilingual sometimes i don't know how to say things in one language so i sit in the other one so just go along with me we're also going to do the same thing with these we're going to put them in aluminum foil and create a little like envelope type of thing and we're going to put them back in the comal the tomatillos cook faster than, than the jalapeños but you'll see as we go along now we're going to get chiles de árbol we're using roughly about 12 of them. Los vamos a tostar. You want to be quick with this. This takes about 10 seconds, to be honest. Moving them like this really fast. No los quieres quemar. If you do, your salsa is going to taste bitter. You don't want to let them get burnt. Trust me. And then we're going to wash them after. We're also going to let them sit in the water. They get more softened up. That way when we blend them, they're easier to blend. Here it's been about five minutes and we're checking up on the tomatillos. You're going to see they're not ready yet, but that's okay. We just want to make sure that they're cooking fine. We're going to let them sit again for five more minutes. Meanwhile, that's cooking up. We're going to start off with our potatoes. We cooked them in boiling water. Now we're peeling them. My mom likes for me to keep the cascara on the skin. That way it has more flavor. So here I'm just going to take off the skin. Next, we're going to add some salt. Remember, potatoes need a lot of salt, but don't go crazy. Se la comen though, for sure. Then we're going to smash them up. I use a cup. I have one of those potato smashers, but a cup just does it for me. And we're going to pretty much make them into like mashed potatoes, I guess. I want to apologize also if I get tongue twisted. I talk really fast. That's just me. And sometimes I'll kind of twist all my words around. But I know what I'm saying. Pero se me atraba a veces. We check on the tomatillos again. They are done. They took about 10 minutes. The jalapeños take longer. About 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to give them a little bit more time. 
They're just about done though. About three to five minutes later, we checked on them again and they're done. Now it's time to blend our chile. We start off with the chile de arbol and then we put about this much water. We're going to blend these first. We're gonna add some salt. Let's see, it grabs the salt better and then blend for about 30 seconds. Really good blend here. Next, we are going to add the tomatillos into the mix. And lastly, the jalapeños. You notice that we don't add any more water. We like this consistency for our salsa. And I blended it for about 15 to 20 seconds. You don't want to blend too much. Look at this, just look at this. This salsa is bomb, you guys. Ugh. And then I forgot the cilantro, you guys. I was like, oh, I love cilantro. So I tore up a little bunch like this. <laughs> I washed it and then I added three spoonfuls of the salsa back in the mix so I can blend it again for like five, 10 seconds. Y ahora sí, you guys, this is perfect. Okay, you can add onion, but my mom doesn't like onion, so we just stick with cilantro, and I love it. When you taste it, just keep in mind that it's gonna be spicier when it's hot, but I felt like I needed a lime. Lime does give it a nice flavor, and it helps simmer down the spiciness. We also felt that it needed a little bit just more salt so we added just a little dash you gotta see you guys it's done moving on to the salsa for the actual enchiladas we're going to add two cups of water and one large ajo garlic and then finally we're gonna get those softened up chiles guajillos we used about eight remember and we're going to add these into the mix into the blender and we're going to blend them for a long time a very long time we want them to be very blended so i would say at least two minutes but I'll, you'll see right now it'll blend 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 but i'm gonna go fast mode on you guys so you won't waste all those two minutes of your life you see that was fast now we're going to strain it we're going to use a strainer to catch all the little skin of the chiles and the semillas, the seeds. And we're just going to move it around with a little spoonsy. You see, this is all the stuff that it caught. That's why we wanna do this. Then we're going to check on the consistency. It's pretty good, to be honest. But my mom decided that adding just a little bit more water was going to be better. We poured it on top of that stuff so it can get more flavor and more color still not water it down but that's perfect now also check the salt add more if needed next we're going to heat up the tortillas just enough for them to be soft you guys don't tell me oh my gosh you didn't cook them yes i did they just need to be soft okay it's not healthy but it's good so we have our carne seca this is imported from mexico it's like the best and our bolillo for the bambasos so now first the enchiladas we're going to dip the tortillas into the sauce and we're going to fry them into the hot boiling oil and about 10 seconds on each side to be honest you don't need more than that it just needs to turn like a dark red and then you flip them over just make sure the oil is hot And just let the oil drain as much as possible. We know it's gonna be aceitoso, but we wanna make it the least aceitoso as possible. So the least greasy. And we're just gonna add a new bunch and keep repeating the process. 
Now my friends, it's time for the bambasos. We do the same thing here. We dip the bolillos after we slit them in half. Not completely, you know, you don't want them to tear up, but just a little slit in the middle. And we're going to fry these for about, I wanna say about like 20 seconds per side on these because they're bolillos. And we also do like the sides. Ahora la carne seca. This is from Mexico, so unfortunately you can't just go buy it here. Uh, we get it sent to us whenever somebody comes over. And we fry these for about 4-5 or five minutes per side. This is kind of like beef jerky, but better. Some people just cook it in the comal, but we like them really crispy like this. Exactly like this. This is what we're looking for. It's not burnt. It's perfect. It's like a beautiful crunch. Y luego es tiempo de enrollar. Las enchiladas, it's time to roll them up. We're going to put the potato inside the tortilla and we're going to just roll them up. Roll them up as tightly as you can, trust me. It's just better for anybody eating them and the presentation. You don't want the tortillas just falling apart, you know? So just roll them up really nice like this. And try to do them as quickly as possible. The longer you let the tortilla sit, they'll get stuck. So just make sure once they're done, just start rolling them up. They're hot though, so I guess if you wait because you can't hang with the heat, I guess. But I'll just like make sure that the tortillas, you separate them because they'll stick. And I'm just messing with you guys. They are really hot, so let them cool off if you need to. I'm just telling you from experience, the bottom tortillas stuck a little bit on each other. So that's why I just let you know. Y no para aburrirte, not to bore you, but we do the same thing with the pambasos. We just put that potato inside, close them up, and keep it going. Yes, we're finally going to get to eat them. I prepare them this way, with lettuce, queso fresco, avocado, and some... Okay, the carne seca, I... Put them in little pieces inside the torta for that crunch. It's so good. It's so delicious. And some crema. And lastly, like my favorite, 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 la salsa. Mmm, look at this. I'm going to do a little montage. Is that what you say? Is that what you call it? But just look at this beauty. Van a decir, ay no, Nancy, pero sí, igualita las enchiladas, we prepare them the same way. Just, I crumble the queso fresco instead of like the slices. Pero my man, he loves queso, so I just put like extra pieces for him because, you know, he's a little mouse. And then this is the best crema, crema salvadoreña, and he likes a lot of it. It's funny, he doesn't eat tortilla, but he eats hella carbs. So it's the same thing, but in todos modos, he, he maintains his figura. And some salsa. He doesn't do as much as me anymore. Sure. Positive. It's super bombed. I feel like the lighting's not good. What do you rate it? Out of 10? Out of 10. A 20. Bum. So do you think everybody should make this at home? Yes, most definitely. Go a little bit. By the way, I'm cleaning so you see those uh, chairs back there because I'm still cleaning up. And <laughs> you gotta say bye to them and tell them to subscribe and like and share. Bye, subscribe, like, and share for my wife. <laughs>